welcome to Riverbend Golf Club. This is Tom Abrahamson. I'm here with uh, Mr. Pock and Ms. Kim. Um, we are your sales staff here at Riverbend Golf Course and we are going to do demonstrate the Riverbend Lottery we do for weekend tea times. Um, as you know, a lot of people have loved our course and our wanting times and as daylight's gotten tighter, it's been harder to give everyone their time. So, but we want to assure everyone that we're following a process that's fair to our soldiers and their families and all of our military community and our civilians as well. So uh, first thing we're going to start with is we're going to pull the tea time requests from the box. We have a box for Saturday and a box for Sunday and we're going to separate and sort those into our two categories, which is active duty and civilian. Okay, do you have the keys? Go ahead. So there's the stack for Saturday. That's a lot of cards. Miss Kim is going to work Saturday and Mr. Pock, go ahead and pull Sundays. Okay, um, just to mention these cards, are, it's very important that we fill them out correctly. Um, it's, we need to know if you have a member number on there, that's great. Go ahead and have a seat and you guys can start sorting. I'm going to talk while you sort. Um, it's important that we have um, all the information on the card. We need to know who the name is. I need to put the rank because we're prioritizing by rank. Uh, if we have three people that are active duty out of a foursome, they get considered to be active duty card and get priority. So we want to make sure that that's illustrated and, and it's truthful. Um, we've got to make sure people aren't putting down active duty if there really is, is an active duty play. Okay, that's why we also need to know the name. So once we've separated those cards and, and done that, we're first going to draw the active duty and put in their tea times. Uh, the cards will be shuffled and we're gonna pull each one uh, randomly and give them their time. Okay, the first uh, step we have in doing this, as Mr. Pock is doing, is he's sorting through, making sure we don't have duplicates. Um, it helps us if you make, that's why we also, we need all the cards filled out completely because when we're matching these, we're trying to kick out anything that's a duplicate card so we don't give away uh, tea time and error that won't be filled. Okay, just to explain a little bit how our tea system works, uh, we are in a seven eighths tea time system. So every seven minutes there's a tea time and then eight minutes, then seven minutes and eight minutes. So there's typically eight tea times per hour. Um, one of the issues we're having now is back in September, um, we were teeing off early, uh, 5.30, you know, in the summertime especially too. And you can tee off as late as three or four o'clock. And so there's a lot of room for tee times. Now we hit October, our first tee times at 6.30, and the last tee time where you can get around 18 holes is one o'clock. So we've lost three hours, in essence, on both sides. And so that's 24 less tee times, and we have the same amount of demand, same amount of golfers wanting them. So. Unfortunately, uh, priority becomes very critical this time of year and making sure we're doing things right and we want to show you that we are. Okay, one other thing just to show you some of our cards, you see we only have the membership number. This costs us a lot of extra time because we have to go through and pull up each of these numbers and verify that they are actually active duty or civilian. So that's why we need the full name and the rank on the card to help us when we're sorting, um, it can save us uh, literally an hours of time doing this, especially when we have a three or four day weekend. Okay, all right, so we just had a situation um, where we found uh, two people on two different cards. So we have to call the customer and find out which tea time or which two people, which group they're gonna be with, okay? That also costs us a lot of time. 
So it helps us out to make sure that the tea times you, we don't have any duplicates, so the tea times you put in are the ones we actually need. So we did call the customer. Ms. Kim just talked to uh, them, and we're going to discard one of these cards um, because this is the right one. Okay, we are now to that stage where, if you see here, we have two piles. We have a, our active duty pile right here and our DOD pile here. So now I'm gonna do the shuffle. So we're gonna take and we're gonna shuffle each of these cards so that everything's random. And then we're gonna draw them and everyone's gonna get their tea time. Okay. All right, active duty shuffled, civilian shuffled. Okay, Saturday is done. Let's see Sunday. Sunday's active duty. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to draw. So uh, I'm gonna do the drawing and as I draw the cards, they're gonna put the tea times in as close to the time that they have requested. Of course, it's not a perfect world. Sometimes if they request maybe 7.30 and 7.15 is available, that's what they'll get. Um, if 7.30 is available, 8 o'clock is available, that's what they get. Now, as we get later and we start filling up the tea sheet, we maybe only have 10 o'clock available or 1 o'clock available, or possibly if it doesn't get picked, if we have too many cards, then unfortunately they would not get a tea time. In those cases, we always look out for the customer. So if we have, we keep the cards and we keep the order. So if we have a cancellation come up, then the next card in that order will get selected to replace that tea time that's canceled. So that way it's fair to everyone. Okay, so are we ready to do active duty? All right, right here, okay. I'm gonna hand you each a card. I'm gonna borrow your pen if I could. And I'm gonna put on there number one right here. Go ahead and put them in for Saturday. For Saturday, here we go. And then Saturday's time. Two, and if you can kind of go through here, just put three, four, five. Next, next, next. Is this a single right here? Okay. Okay. If we do get cards that are a single, a single does cannot hold a tea time by themselves. Okay. So there, that card will be held until we get another threesome to pair with th that single. Okay, number two. Another thing about our course is sometimes if people don't get their time, if they go on the waiting list and they come in the morning, we can still get you in a lot of times. Uh, obviously, it's easier for a single or twosome, but you know, sometimes we'll have cancellations that day and, and you can still get in and play. Okay, number two, that's a single, so we'll hold that one. Uh, number three, got a foursome.
Okay, we are pretty much down to our 30th card of our active duty. Mr. Pock works really fast. So, uh, one other card came up. I just want to show it to you just so you see basically what not to do. I've got a name down here with, uh, in the, it's in the wrong spot. There's no rank. Uh, I've got a number here, but it's the a gym number in our POS system. It's not even a number in our golf rec track. So we're not sure if that number is accurate as well. So we've got to make sure we got the, your member number, your full name and your rank on all these cards. Otherwise they get kicked out. So like this card has to be kicked out. Okay, now we're to the civilians, which I am about to start here. Um, right now we have about two thirds of the tea times filled. Looks like we have about, um, oh, about 10 or so spots, but we have a lot more cards than that. So uh, it's all gonna be random based on the draw. So first one right here. Write number? Yep, number one. What we'll do is if we have a twosome that's already booked, say an active duty twosome that's already booked, and we get another twosome, then we'll fill that slot with that twosome to make that a foursome. go there's a twosome oops sorry yeah you know, you know, 8 30 right there I'll put them there So they're looking for a 7.30 time. The closest we have is 8.15. So they'll get an 8.15 8 tea time. That's a Bellinger's. Okay. Yeah, the Bellinger's company. Okay, so the Bellinger's are down with uh, De Jesus, and De Jesus is also with the horns. So De Jesus is playing with the horns. Correct. You you called them. Yeah. Okay, so let's call the Bellinger's twosome and see if they want to play as a twosome, just to make sure, so we don't leave anyone out. Can you look up their phone number, and I'll give them a call. Okay. Okay, can you look me up the Bellinger's phone number, please? And we'll give them a call. Sure. That's okay. This is part of the process. Yeah. This, this is what s slows us down a lot of times when, when we have duplicates. So we've got a duplicate card. It's actually three duplicate cards. And then uh, we have to figure out which two sims playing with which. And then at the end, we got to call everybody and just to verify. So um, that way we don't make a mistake, leave somebody out that requested a time.
Okay, so we're on which card? Number 11? Number 11. Number 11 for DOD. We, we, still, st we still have some times left. Okay, looking good. No, I just called. I just called. I want you to keep going. Okay, uh, we are getting near the end of our Saturday tea times. We've got most everyone in. Uh, I have, uh, looks like six cards left over, uh, three threesomes, a twosome, and uh, two foursomes. So what we'll do is we'll put these cards in order. They're numbered. So that way, as we have openings happen and cancellations, these they, they'll be replaced with these cards, okay? And again, we apologize for not getting everyone in. We're trying to get everyone in, but we're getting really close this week. Last week, I think we had 22 cards left over, so six isn't too bad. And again, if you are unfortunate, didn't get your name called, uh, please still come out. Uh, if you do, do stand by, a lot of times we can still get you in. Okay, so Saturday is finished. Now we're working through Sunday. Seems to look a little better. Looks like we have, uh, we'll be able to get most everyone in, it looks like. We're in card number 27. For the civilians. Yeah, looks like we'll be able to get everyone in for Sunday. So once again, um, this process is uh, important. Uh, we have a SOP. It's on our MWR website. If you would like to look at that and see how everything works. Um, also, you're always welcome to come by. Everything we do is transparent and fair, so that way you can see for yourself uh, how we're doing the lottery and uh, feel good about your club and feel happy that we're, we're taking care of the active duty first. Um, we're also trying to take care of all our members and, and players. Um, regardless of the priority, we care about all our golfers and uh, we want everyone to feel at home here at Riverbend.